Восьмого еще поставим все. So you could introduce yourself and then tell me a bit about it and I'll be happy to share this back home. So, uh, dear viewers, we are making the online report from the Open Innovation Exhibition in Moscow. Uh, it's 1st November and here we represent our open source project. It's named Scratch Duino, Open uh, Hardware for Education. My name is Pavel Fralov and I'm the producer of this project and I'm from St. Petersburg. So before I tell about this project, I tell some words about the history of this project so you will better understand why we do this solution. Uh, we are publishing magazine in Russia which name is Linux Format. So this is this magazine. And eight years ago, the chief editor of this magazine came to me and tell me about Arduino platform. So we were very excited and our readers were very excited about Arduino, so we decided, decided to bring Arduino to Russia. So we make distribution contract with smart project company from Italy and we bring first batch of Arduinos in Russia and we do some promotion here. So now Arduino is very popular in Russia. Almost every technical guy knows about Arduino and there is probably about 10 distributors and about 5 uh, factories who do Arduino here on different brands like Freeduino or or Duino Open Robotics Project and so on. And our next idea um, was to bring Arduino to schools and national laboratories. And when we uh, decided to bring to school Arduino, we find out that it's not possible because it's not very um, safe to give Arduino to small kids. So we decided to make safe solution and this is Arduino cartridge so we save Arduino in some box and in kind of times of Nintendo and, uh, then we do our first product the game controller this is uh, the game controller and this is the scratch board so it's the native solution for scratch uh, that uh, allow kids to understand based the on the Pico board right yes. yeah but um, this is not, not big, big but it's scratch board and ah. this is uh, based on Arduino now. So this is first introduction for kids to the world of Internet of Things and to the world of smart home. Uh, they have sensors here and these sensors they can use as the variables in scratch environment. So the scratch now uh, is it uh, dark or light? In your room is it hot or cold temperature is it loud noise or silence inside oh. your room and you can make very simple sketch um, to do this mm -hmm. and our next project was um, robo kids uh, and it's also using uh, arduino cartridge Side, so we can easily install Arduino cartridge here and as you remember the scratch uh, this is very good solution of making program because uh, these blocks uh, have magnetic and they make magnetic mount sensors to ah, the robot cool. to keep the spirit of scratch so it's very easy to make your own hardware on the scratch principles so you can easily assemble and disassemble the configuration of uh, magnetic mount sensors and the robotic platform on the wheels. Awesome. And uh, we very like, love uh, Scratch and uh, together this Intel Corporation eight years ago we do first steps of promoting Scratch in Russia oh. and we um, do some promotional campaign and then very good guy Evgeny Patarakin make Russian version of Scratch and uh, I used it yesterday okay so the main benefit of Scratch as I think in my opinion is that you don't need to teach kids English language yes. before you make first lessons of programming amen brother <laughs> So, and uh, other good things that if you run Scratch on the tablet PC or on the new screens, 
with touch uh, sensor, uh, you don't need to teach kids mouse. This means that you can have five years old kids who already can Starting read. Starting with little, Scratch Junior. Scratch, uh, some, start some programming. Yeah. And now we can take five years old kids and make programming of robotics and make some programming of uh, Internet of Things and Smart House. And um, uh, we make a special version of Scratch. Uh, for uh, just a moment, I'm just